Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Can you believe it? We are already midway January. It's unreal. Um, and so for 2023, if you didn't catch my first video, I've decided to journal in this uh, Archer and Olive Square journal. It's a dot journal. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I think it's going to be a, a good fit for me this year. Uh, I do love Project Life and still love Project Life. It's just been one of those things that I haven't been able to get to it. So this I find is a quick and easy kind of way to sort of get that main idea out um, and then just have fun with it. Document those memories. That's what's important. So I am using an alpha stamp. And I'm going to use some Distress Oxides. I believe I'm using Walnut Stain and Vintage Photo. Kind of a combination of the two in different uh, places. I am stamping with this uh, with these inks into my journal. And I'm very excited to say that it doesn't bleed through. If you know Archer and Olive, you know that it's top quality product. And so even with inks like Distress Oxides, it doesn't bleed through. I um, did use some watercolor markers. Uh, they were very juicy on the first page. And so you'll see on the left hand side, there is some uh, kind of ghosting from the ink splatters, but it's not unmanageable. So <laughs> it is what it is. I think what I'm going to do for this journal, and it really is just fun play and making sure that you get a memory down a week. You know, we sit with phones with so much photos on and you know you forget to back it up to the cloud and you lose the phone and it's gone or whatever the situation may be so make sure to document those memories document the time you know that you've spent with family the memories that you've made it's important we we live this busy life and we feel sometimes i feel sometimes that i have nothing to show for it or there's no you know, I can't remember what I did kind of thing. And I've really been very deliberate in the last 14 days to make sure that I document um, my my processes for the day to make sure that I've got it down and remember all of the things that I that I have to be grateful for, because it really is when you look at everything that's happened in your life, even the mundane little things in the day, it kind of inspires inspires gratitude because we've been uh, given this opportunity to make new memories so lots of fun there i did not realize that the stamp set is a complete dud like there's pretty much melted areas in all of these stamps um, from this set it is a stamp set that i got in some other magazine or whatever but yeah the quality is just not good so for the photos uh hubby and i went to have a breakfast at Memories Cafe and Restaurant in um, Midstream. They're actually at the Day Hospital and it's a beautiful restaurant and they had fantastic food and a really good breakfast, um, buffet breakfast. I had the most amazing stewed fruit with um, like a honey and a sesame seed kind of crunch not sesame seed what do you call those sunflower seed crunch it was just beautiful so really remember that meal <laughs> uh, and then we went to the farm and on our way to the farm we made faces to kind of do the instagram stuff that the kids have been doing and jock made this little um kind of collage to send on to the kids <laughs> to show that we are two cool parents there you go. <laughs> so this stamp set has a bunch of sentiments. Like I said, I didn't realize that all of them, literally, even the flower that I stamped up there had a little bit of a miss kind of, I don't know. Yeah. So heading up to the next stamp set, it is a Heidi Swap stamp set. And I'm just taking those sentiment as sentiments as well and just putting them kind of all over the page. Stamping in that same kind of monotone brown, I want that kind of to be the background to fit with the washi tape. And if you didn't see these washies, they are fantastically beautiful. I think I said it in my first video as well. 
and well first video for this 2023 journal um i i was gifted a few extra ones by a friend so thank you very much and then i get to kind of use them in my journal um just adding a little bit of hearts uh just to kind of finish it up i did want to splatter or something there's this white there you go let's do that <laughs> some half a flower in odd places um did try and fill in the words of this sentiment stamp set wasn't 100 percent successful but there you go not the end of the world so the next thing that i am going to try and do is to just on the opposite side page sort of write down the things that stood out from that week for me the first week this is then week one of 2023 and i'm using my pit artist pens um, in a seep dark sepia and a sanguine color just to write out uh, the goodies that have happened for this week it's not a must obviously <laughs> i just think like i said and especially the older i get i find that i forget about all of the extra blessings all of the little things um, that i have to be thankful for and that we forget to thank god for so there you go thank you for joining me hope to see you again soon bye bye